So remember when they said Africans do not like each other, right? This is what they actually mean in regard to what is currently happening in Sudan. Hello everyone and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Today's video we're talking about what is really happening in Sudan. How does this Sudan will affect us as Africans and why should we bother about what is happening in Sudan? The first video I just played was talking about why it's actually clear that Africans don't like Africans and now that there's war in Sudan, Africans are not even helping their own people. But before we I play that full video to the end, I want to play a video that I explain that why should we even bother about this uh, war happening in Sudan at the moment? Why should we bother about it? I'm going to play this video for you all to watch, then come back and talk about it. Here is why you should care about the fighting that is going on in Sudan. What's happening there is more than meets the eye. And it's time for the world to discuss the actual truth of what is going on there. America and Russia are at it again, just as they did 60 years ago during the Cold War, when they fought proxy wars right in Africa, leading to the death of thousands of innocent Africans. They are at it again in Sudan, fighting a proxy war. Let me explain. Two factions of the Sudanese military are fighting each other. One of them is led by Lieutenant General Mohamed Hamdan, head of the paramilitary group known as Rapid Support Forces. The other faction is led by the Sudanese army chief, General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan. So why are they fighting? This is where Russia and USA come into the picture. You see, in the last couple of months, Russia has finalized a deal with Sudan to establish Russia's naval base in Sudan's Red Sea coast. America is not too happy with that. Actually, they're furious. America's ambassador to Sudan, John Godfrey, expressly warned Sudan not to seal that deal with Russia. But they're going ahead and doing just that. And so when the paramilitary unit began fighting the other faction of the army, that wasn't happening in a vacuum. The big problem is that you're not going to hear this in the mainstream media. Neither are you going to hear a lot of African governments voicing this which is very unfortunate because Africa must learn to speak its truth and stand on this truth because truth will set you free. So it is left to the African people, we the African people, to speak this truth and tell America and Russia to get off Africa, to get their hands off Africa. The days of the Cold War, the days of the shenanigans of the Cold War are completely over and they cannot fight proxy wars in Africa at the expense of innocent African lives. That has to stop. The fighting in Sudan must stop. The puppet masters must stop their evil, diabolic games. This video clearly explains why we Africans, we should care about this war. If you've been hearing about the Sudan war and Sudan fighting, you'll be seeing everyone on social media since the beginning of this month and you're really not concerned at least that video should explain and let you know why you should be concerned about it because it affects us all so now back to the first video why africans hate africans despite this war happening and there is nothing done to their own people, especially Nigerians. I'm going to play that video to the end and come back and talk about so it. So remember when they said Africans do not like each other, right? This is what they actually mean in regard to what is currently happening in Sudan. Ethiopians wouldn't let Nigerians pass through their borders to get their ways back to Nigeria. We all know there is a crisis or war going on in Sudan right now to the extent that even the Sudanese themselves are fleeing outside of Sudan. The Sudanese who are living in Khartoum are fleeing to their various villages. Almost everybody left Khartoum at the moment which is the capital of Sudan except for the international students most of which are Africans. Some of them are women they are left stranded in Sudan right now. All they do at the moment is to lie on the floor. Some of them are sick, some of them are injured allegedly. I have spoken with a lot of Nigerian students in Sudan. A lot of them have spoken out on social media. What they said is that one of the safest and easiest way to follow in order to leave Sudan at the moment is to get your way out from Khartoum to the Ethiopian border. And Nigerians try to follow that way with some other international students. Ethiopian immigration allowed every other nationality to pass through their country. Somali, Kenya, Djibouti, Yemen and every other person except for Nigerians. They asked them to apply for a visa which they did three days ago. Nobody is even looking into their visa application at the moment because there is a public holiday for it in Ethiopia. 
So they ask them to go back to Sudan while other people are passing. Even the Sudanese are passing but they wouldn't let Nigerians pass. So they are indirectly asking them to go back and die that we do not care about you, only care about our neighbors. And remember at the beginning of Russia-Ukraine conflict where all those white people wouldn't let black people pass through their borders. We came out in thousands on social media calling them racist. Ethiopia is giving us the same vibe. So we are using this medium to call on the attention of the Ethiopian government and the entire African Union to look into this case immediately. Thank you. If you're Nigerian and you are not aware of what's happening in Sudan, um, I would paraphrase it as a proxy war because the mainstream media always, always, especially in these in recent times, the mainstream media, they're not going to tell you the truth, but Sudan is going through what Ukraine <laughs> went through for the past one year and is still going through. They are going to use Sudan as a proxy you know, between Russia and the US, just fighting for, you know, the usual resources and space, space to use and fight, space by the sea. But, you know, Nigerians are caught up in the whole palaver because why? We are everywhere. I mean, because of the situation of Nigeria, most Nigerians are in diaspora. Let's just, let's just put it that way. And if you're not aware, there are so many Nigerians that are stranded in Sudan. I know most of you may be like, oh, what is uh, what are people going? Yes. When people when 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 people in Nigeria refuse, you know, to vote for the right leaders to make things happen, when the leaders are so corrupt that they can't they can't they can't seem to make things work, people would even move to Lake Chad. So that shouldn't come as a shock to you. There are Nigerians stuck there. Nigerians stranded, Nigerians trying to cross the border. These are Nigerian students, Nigerians that have been living there, Nigerians who are even citizens over there, and they're looking to leave the capital city because that's where all the bombings, all the shellings, all the war higihaga, everything is going on in the capital. So um, the news is that Ethiopians, those at the border, they're not letting our people pass literally um egyptians are passing in fact if you're not nigerian they are letting you pass but if you're nigerian you have to uh, go back to um sudanese border you have to apply for visa you have to do when there is a war when there is a war to tell you how you know the the, the labeling the label just being nigerian being nigerian is our is uh, the only vibe the only vibe with you when it comes to your music to things that make you look cool and please do not come for me and say oh there are people in a war you're telling people to go back go back to where you know they are likely to die go back to where you know i mean let's not even be shocked this is a, a country that do not even identify as african most of them they rather say oh they are arabs they are whites or whatsoever they call themselves they're not africans but yeah that's that's what's happening in sudan right you all sometimes i really don't get it why africans have to like you are you're an african you have to have visa to enter african country it still doesn't make sense to me but it is what it is that's what we are facing in this you know in this world and nigerians are facing the most there is war if i thought we were supposed to help each other we're supposed to be there for each other because we are blacks and you know african support african but we truly don't even like each other to be honest because i see no reason why your brother or your sister can be in war or want to run away from their life and you're telling them to have to go collect visa or ask for visa and at the end of the day you're on holiday it doesn't just make sense it doesn't sit so to me and i feel so sorry for everyone like in sudan nigerians in sudan everyone even if you're not nigeria i feel so sorry if you're caught up in this war i hope you guys just survive because it is really scary and crazy let me know what you all think down in the comment section it can be any of your family members talking sudan right now we need to do something about it okay let me know what you guys think down in the comment section my name is maria davis and thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i'll see you all in my next video don't forget to like subscribe yeah and all that all of that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next one bye